Welcome one and welcome all to a sentimental channel, Orchids for Dummies. In today's video, I want to educate all of my new beginners on the method of water culture. How do I know if my Phalaenopsis orchid is responding normally or if it is showing signs of decline? Please help me, Fal Pal Darrell. Girl, you gotta stay tuned. Now, how I will go forward um, fertilizing them, you would have to stay tuned. This is not a update video. We are just going to briefly go through all of my Phalaenopsis orchids that are grown in the method of water culture. Look at their roots. Is it something that I would say is a success or is it something that is on the decline? In this scenario right here, this is going to be a complete success. This was a rootless, sick phalaenopsis. And with all of these roots, this is an orchid I'm definitely going to keep in the method of water culture. This is another um, seedling phalaenopsis orchid. I wanted to see if seedlings would be um, able to be grown in the method of water culture. Um, with all of this um, ooey and gooey, Okay, I have a new product in my home called Pfizer in 2020. Before I give up on this um, Phalaenopsis orchid, I want to give it a good spray of Pfizer in 2020, which is going to keep down all of that mold. Okay, we're going to give it a try before we give up on the seedling, which only has two leaves. Okay, I will keep you guys updated. But as I see it, you have to stay tuned. Now, this one right here, it took forever for a root to grow. It was already not in the best of care. But as of right now, I would say it is doing okay. 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 Now, um, the more roots that grow, um, the more I would cut back as far as those black roots, okay? But I'm not cutting them all at once. And when I do do slicing and dicing, I like to give them a dry day, 24 hours to close up that wound naturally, even longer if it's able to sustain itself with multiple leaves, not just two, okay? So this is an orchid I'm definitely keeping my eye on as well uh, as the seedling. This one right here, honey, um, when you have all of this going on, if you guys have never seen two roots um, produced, oh no, she is stuck on the glass. She was stuck on the glass. But um, you see the two roots stuck to the rocks and everything. Um, and as you can see, this white fuzziness, this is actually from the roots, okay? This is how it attaches itself to things. So it's really um, good for you to be able to discern white mold, um, mealy bugs, um, you know, all of those different algaes. You need to know these things so you're, you're able to treat your phalaenopsis with the best of care and not just your best educated guests. Stay tuned. Come on back. Now, we are not going in any particular order. We're just running you by my orchid collection that I have in the method of water culture. Now, in the last segment, I showed you or told you that I was using Fizan 20 to help with my orchids that has that persistent black mold, okay? Now, this orchid right here is one of the first orchids that I had to rebloom for me. It's also the first orchid that was successful in the method of water culture. Now, I had stopped foliar feeding it, okay? And I had potted it up and everything, so it has definitely been through. But this is one of the orchids that I have repeated the process, removing decaying media and everything, decaying matter, doing all of that, and the leaves are still wrinkly okay letting me know that it's not um absorbing the water okay it's actually just rotting the same with this leaf very flimsy that is going to be a major key factor to know that water culture is not working on that orchid however because it, i know that it has black mold i want to treat the black mold even if it is not going to sustain itself in water culture because if i 
repot this Phalaenopsis orchid into some organic media, that mold will transfer and the whole pot will rot away. So we don't want to do that. So that is how you would know if an orchid is not responding adequately to the method of water culture. Now, this is a Phalaenopsis I got from Mother's Day, which is is in May, and it has been in water for a very long time. And um, this small little leaf is all that it has produced. So in this event, I would know that this orchid is not going to like the method of water culture, whether or not um, fertilizing, okay? It just is not going to work for this particular orchid. Why? We don't know, but we don't want to wait until the last minute to try to do something about it. We want to act as swiftly as possible before all of those bottom leaves start to fall off, okay? So, um, no root production and wrinkled leaves is going to be those major signs to look for in a Phalaenopsis orchid that is not responding to the method called water culture. This is also another seedling Phalaenopsis orchid that is not giving me any new root production, any new um, production at all. So this is another orchid that I would want to, you know, transfer into some moss, okay? You want to, especially if you have already tried water culture, you don't want to go directly from moss straight to bark, okay? Because those roots want something that is going to be soft and that's going to keep that water around it that it's already accustomed to. Now, this is one of my new Phalaenopsis orchids that was given to me by Fab Pal Lisa, okay, as a thick orchid that she, um, as you can see, all these beautiful roots. So this is going to be just fine. This is going to be just fine. But I'm showing you a brand new orchid that I just put in water culture because I want you guys to keep in mind that growing in a method of water culture, introducing a new orchid to water culture, you will have to change the water. You see that ooey and gooey down there? It's clear, but it's ooey and gooey, and it's coming off this decaying matter, and it's all over the roots. That's what you want to keep your eyes out for, because if you wait to the last minute, it's going to rot away, and it's going to be too late. So being proactive about it, listening to the orchid, watching the leaves is how we are going to successfully grow orchids in the method called water culture. Stay well, tuned. Come on back, baby. Now in the last segment I had showed you ooey and gooey. I was trying to let you guys know until your Phalaenopsis orchid is able to sustain itself in water and the water stays clear and pure. How can I show you this? Here we go. This is clean and pure water. I'm able to leave this Phalaenopsis in here for over two weeks without having any problems. That is in part because this Kiki Phalaenopsis orchid, it mother, its mother was a Phalaenopsis that was already grown in the method of water culture. So it was already introduced to it. Okay, on the contrary, if I was to pot it in bark, I might have a lot of adverse effects, especially with these long roots that are used to hanging, okay, and not being compressed into a pot. So this is actually the epitome of what you want your Phalaenopsis to be, remembering that these Phalaenopsis have been in my collection for over six months, have not received any nutrients other than fish aquarium water. So I can only imagine with this type of success how wonderful it would be if I was to introduce it to some good old fertilizer, okay? That's a whole different video. Now, many of you guys have wanted to know how is my Shelriana from Norman, honey, how is she doing? As you can see, she's pulling nutrients, okay, from one of her last leaves, honey. So she's going to be down to um, two leaves left. Now, keep in mind, the Shelleriana is not the Phalaenopsis that is going to give you 11 leaves, okay? But as you can see, she is one of those vigorous growers when it comes to the roots. She's even attached herself to the rocks. So that is a strong indication that she is happy 
growing in the method of water culture. I just have to make sure she's able to get her vitamins and nutrients. Okay, stay tuned. And all of my new viewers, welcome to a place where you can get your life. Make sure to ring that bell so you will be notified. Now, this phalaenopsis right here, I'm just so proud of it because it was showing the best, um, you know, it had the best response to the method of water culture in such a quick time. Let me get a good view going. Okay, here we go. I just want to take it out so you can see the roots. Okay. So that's a good orchid that is in the method of water culture. And it is now definitely ready to receive some type of form of fertilizer. I wanted to make sure to say in this video, if you have a Phalaenopsis orchid whose roots is looking like this and leaving the water ooey and gooey, that is going to be a orchid you do not want to fertilize, okay? Now, sometimes before we say that water culture is not working for us, sometimes it's just the setup, okay, that we have it in. Um, it seems as if any orchid that I put in this container that does not have um, small roots or that's sitting all the way up here is going to create a, a, a an environment that is giving me mold, okay? So in this event, I am going to use some of that Fizan 20 and see how it goes. If I have any of the bottom leaves that start to drop off, okay, I will... Pot it in some sphagnum moss. As you can see, it has two flower spikes. Um, it is slowly eating the nutrients off of this spike, which is going to be an indicator to new beginners that your orchid is now in need of fertilizer. So instead, instead of fertilizing the roots, I am going to make a foliar feed and foliar foliar feed the leaves to provide some form of nutrients, okay? But that's a whole different video. You gotta stay tuned. This Phalaenopsis right here actually had rebloomed, which is my second Phalaenopsis orchid to rebloom in the method of water culture. It took no time to rebloom. Now, I want you to pay close attention that no new roots have been produced. Okay, although it does has roots already, no new root development. However, she did rebloom, okay, and a new leaf is being developed. Now, looking at the bottom leaves, this is going to be early um, signs and symptoms. This is going to be early signs and symptoms, not so much that water culture method is not working for that orchid, but that this orchid is not getting the nutrients that it need. Now, this is a Phalaenopsis orchid that is ready to be foliar fed in for its roots to be dipped into some fertilized water as well. You have to stay tuned, okay? Now, this video... This Phalaenopsis right here, this is going to be one of those orchids that I would say, okay, maybe we need to go ahead and pot it in some type of different media because it's on the decline, okay? The roots are shriveling up and now it's turning black. Keep in mind that this is a natural process of the Phalaenopsis orchid. However, with it being in um, the method of water culture for so long, no new root development, but in fact that it is declining and is not producing any new leaves and that I'm able to see that the leaves are wrinkled that it has, that's going to be a sign and symptom that we need to go ahead and find another method. Okay, well, Fal Pals, I hope that this video makes some sense and brings some awareness to all of my new growers that is trying the method called water culture. I wanted you guys to see that before I even educate you guys on a subject that I'm already doing it behind closed doors. You did not even know I had new Vandas, but I am experimenting and watching it for myself before I can deliver that good news to you. Stay tuned. Now, in the event that your water is turning black in a day or two, keep in mind that when you are introducing a new orchid to the method of water culture that you have to give it time to acclimate. Now, um, you want to change the water as much as possible to keep down that white mold. 
okay? There was or is some form of new growth on here. However, it has a long, long way to go. That's why when it comes down to orchids, you want to make sure you have an orchid that has a lot of leaves. We would refer to that as a mature plant because a mature plant is going to be able to sustain itself until you figure it out, okay? Well, I look, hope you like this video, baby. Like it, like it.